Okay, so all of the outside is done. Now, uh, Lee is building the frame to put the um, nesting boxes on. Those are going to be our nesting boxes. There's two more. So it'll be one there, one there, and one there. And that's the trap door for the chickens. And then the roosting bars will be on this side. So that is what Peace. <laughs> he is working on now. The mm. outside is completely done. And then when the inside gets finished, I think we'll call it a day because then after that, tomorrow, we will have to work on the rest of the fencing that will come around the chicken coop. And that way I can leave this main door open that I'll be going in and out to clean. And... Um, the rain barrel will go right here on this side to catch fresh water for the chickens. He's eating flowers and he's eating the, um, 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 um shit, uh, clovers. And, uh, Kodiak ran over there just a second ago before I turned the camera around to see what he was eating. But he's eating the clovers. Is it lunchtime yet? Well, I don't know, honey. It's always lunchtime for you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so then I'll have to paint his sawhorses there. That's why he's got it up on the board for me to paint them. All their water is all got fresh water and uh, yeah so that's the plans for today I was going to use dresser drawers but people just get rid of the dressers for it and then I was going to use the buckets instead the five gallon buckets but then I was like well I kind of, I like these, so at least going to make a bracket underneath them because I don't want them on the ground, on the floor, so I can clean up underneath them. But yet, I can pull these out, wash them off with a water hose real good in case chickens have an accident in it or anything. I can get that taken care of. And when he does the roost, I also, uh, they're going to be held on brackets to where I can completely just pick up the each roost, the wood, take them out, wash them off, scrub them real good, and uh, that way I can spray them down, make sure they don't get any bugs or, you know, lice or nothing like that. So that way this coop itself, when I get the stuff out to get clean and washed, I can spray in here. And, uh, so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Change of plans. Lee couldn't get those to work very good. And, um, they were a little bit too flimsy after we started trying to put them in. So I told Lee, just make me three nesting boxes out of the wood that would be fine and then for the chicken roost um, we're going to use these pieces of wood of course he'll have to cut off the knots and anything like this doesn't hurt the bottom of their foot and then I will take all of this bark off and the little the ends that's a little too wide will shorten those up so that they can fit in there properly. And 
we got these braces like this because they are going to go like this on both sides and the wood is going to sit in here. That way I can take them out and clean them when I need to. So we'll have two of them, like one here and one here to give them plenty of room on both sides. And we still need to put a tarp up here because my head is like right there and it keeps catching my hair. And when Lee's in here, catches his hair. Neither one of us want to be any more bald than what we already are with our hair. Now what? <laughs> okay. Now just the dividers that we need um, up here, right here, up just about so far. I gotta figure, let me out here, figure this out. So I have to go sit down and think a minute. Great minds have to think. But what's there to think? I already told you what to do. Because <laughs> I have to think about it. <laughs> so that's what it looks like so far. So he's going, he said he's got to think about what he's going to use for a divider. So three nest is going to put the dividers up so far and it will be plenty clear for up there. So that's got to be yeah, it's got to fit inside there. Fit inside. So just this much has to be shaved off. Let's see which, which way will be better. It doesn't matter. There'll be chickens on both sides. Because see, they'll have to be screwed in here. Yeah. Let me so cut this little, part first. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that. It, no, this the top is fine. You don't have to have it totally squared. That ain't square at all, right? Well, there. that's fine. Chickens don't know it's not squared. They just want a place to lay eggs. <laughs> Ring around the rows. Okay, mark it. Okay. Yep. And then the height, 11 inches on that one, and in the back, it'll be 17 inches. Shit. Now I gotta go down to the saw. Damn. But you said it'd be easy. Let me hold this for you. Get it straight. It's not straight. We'll get it straight. Well, that's straight. I'm glad this thing got a light on the front of it. That works good. Is that the way you want it? Yep. Right, pick him screws up. Yeah, I'll get it when you get Okay. Yep. And that'll keep the chickens from wanting to jump up here and roost. Okay. Now, um, if... That looks good. <laughs> mm -hmm. My way is better than your way this time. <laughs> oh, you're talking about from the other things that you yeah. couldn't do? Well, because you couldn't do them because it was, you were cracking I know, but this is, little, this is way better. Yeah. All right, Tom. Okay. Time for him to rest. You decide what I need to do now. Uh... Old man in a blue chair again. <laughs>
Okay, so now he's adding another board so that when the chickens get ready to jump up into the nesting box, they can jump on that first. Because if there's already a hen in there, we don't want it jumping up on it. Or if there's eggs in there before I come out and collect them, we don't want them jumping up on them and busting them. This way they can jump up on this first and then get up in the nesting box. That's like, which one's open? And then I still have room to clean up, clean underneath it. Which motel room's to. open? <laughs> There you go. That yep, that's done. Now it's now just side. this side over here, which means we'll have to. Uh, you got to get these things and see how they come. Yeah, the you gotta, oh, you got We can't put these in. Do you get that? You gonna scrape that off or leave it? Okay, so he has used this saw and cut off. These are the roost. The uh, natural. Sanded that down, it's all nice and smooth. Okay. Yep, but I found one place right yeah. here. Let me turn this off. Okay, so Lee did it. It's all done. I'll show you again on the outside. Let me show you the inside. We've got the three nesting boxes that Lee built and the little jump perch thing for them to jump up and get into the nest and got the roost. And we used the natural walnut that we had along with all the other pieces that the dogs chew on. So we used those and made it to where when I get ready to clean them, I can just pull it up, pull it out and take them out and wash them get them all cleaned and so didn't make it tall enough and i hesitated because i conked my head right there i'm gonna have to put two little flags there reminding me that it's lower now and uh yeah so this is done got the chicken door and lee just gotta make the little step the little runway. yeah the runway to go out and over that uh, metal frame right there and this is actually all done in here and let me close this that was the perfect and <laughs> this is the outside is all finally done and complete Oh, you got to tell him I redone the whole And he roof. redid the whole roof so that it overlaps over these vents. And, oh, I felt a sprinkle. Uh-oh. And so that rain won't go in. So he did, he redid the whole entire roof. And, uh, so. Yep, here it Alrighty, so I'm fixing to turn this off, and this is what the door looks like over here where it's open. So I'll close that. We gotta start putting tools away because the rain is fixing to come in. Good job, honey!